In the last class we looked at um, the union fine data structure that was a data structure to maintain a collection of disjoint sets under the operations of union that was the operation we were doing on the sets that was the operation which was modifying the sets yeah, or modifying the collection and uh, the find operation was just to identify given an element which set it belongs to right and we used this we needed this data structure to implement Kruskal's algorithm right. Kruskal's algorithm was the first algorithm we looked at for computing a minimum spanning tree in a graph. It was an example of a greedy algorithm. Right? So today we are going to look at another algorithm for computing the minimum spanning tree in a graph. This one is due to prim and uh, that is what we are going to discuss today. Okay. So uh, let me define the notion of a cut in a graph first for you. So recall that we are talking of undirected graphs. A spanning tree, the notion of a spanning tree is defined only for a undirected graph. For a directed graph, there are different notions. We do not say a spanning tree in a directed graph, right? It is only an undirected graph we are talking about here. So, I give you an undirected graph, a cut, let us say this is graph G, a cut in this graph G is a partition. of the vertex set into two parts. What does it mean? Let me partition break the vertex set into two pieces. So let us say one piece is this and the other is the remaining because it is a partition. right? So this, this way of splitting would define a cut. Okay. So, if for instance uh, I had vertices A, B, C, D, E, so then the first cut I am considering is A, B on one side and C, D, E on the other side. Right. There could be many other cuts possible. Right? I could have A, C and D on one side, A, C and D on one side and B and E on the other side. Yeah. Why not? Or I could have only one vertex, let us say C on one side and the other four on the, the remaining four on the other side. These are all examples of cuts in the graph. How many cuts can there be in a graph? 2 to the power n? 2 to the n or something? 2 to the power n minus 1 because this partition is the same as saying C, D, E and A, B. How did you come up with the number 2 to the n? Every element for every element there are two choices, either left or right say, right. So there are 2 to the n different possibilities, but then, but then the, we are repeating, each, each possibility is repeated twice, right. Once we will say A, B go on the left side and C, D, E go on the right side and the other time we will say C, D, E go on the left side and A, B goes on the right side, but the partition is the same. Yeah? So that is why number of different cuts to the n minus 1, minus 1 also? Oh, okay, the null, you are talking of the null, chaliye, okay. okay. Sometimes what we do is when we say a cut, so cut is really a partition of the vertex set, but I sometimes would also say or, or these edges which are going from one side to the other side are called the edges in the cut, yeah. So these edges would be called the edges in the cut, edges in the cut or edges of the cut, whatever. You understand which edges am I talking about? Edges which have one end point in one side of the partition and the other end point in the other side of the partition. Okay? Great. So, you understand what a cut is. We need this notion and how do we use this notion? So, suppose I take a cut of my graph, some cut in the graph S 
and I will denote the other point by other side by s complement or v minus s where v is the vertex set right. So, I have a graph g is v the vertex set and e the set of edges. So, s is the set on one side and the remaining is the set on the other side right. And now let me look at all the edges which are in the cut. Okay, recall we are trying to compute a minimum spanning tree. Okay, so, I am now going to be talking of a particular property of minimum spanning trees. So, let me take this cut and let me look at the edges in the cut and let us look at their lengths of these edges. So, maybe this edge is length 2, this is length 4, this is length 3, this is length 7. Okay, I am going to be assuming that all the edge lengths are distinct. This is just to ease all my arguments to simplify my arguments right. All the algorithm everything works even when edge lengths are not necessarily distinct right. So, just to simplify my presentation here that I am going to assume edge lengths are distinct ok. Now, the claim is that so recall when edge lengths are distinct there is a unique minimum spanning tree we have discussed this before yeah there is one and only one minimum spanning tree. Now, the claim is that this edge which has length 2 will be part of that minimum spanning tree ok. So, let me write down the claim more formally for any cut for any cut s s complement the the uh, minimum edge in the cut belongs to the MST. ठीक है समझ में आ रहा है आप कोई भी कट ले लीजिए ग्राफ में यही नहीं कोई भी ले लीजिए बहुत सारे कट्स हैं आपके पास टू टू द एन माइनस वन डिफरेंट कट्स हैं कोई भी कट लीजिए उसमें देखिए मिनिमम एज कौन सी है वो वाली एज आपके मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री में जरूर होगी और भी हो सकती है एक से ज्यादा एज हो सकती है मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री में ये जरूरी नहीं है कि केवल एक ही एज होगी मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री में एक से ज्यादा भी हो सकती है नहीं समझ में आया कैसे हो सकती है एक से ज्यादा कौन हाँ फॉर इंस्टेंस ये जैसे ये हमारा ग्राफ था इसके अंदर लेट्स मेक अ ट्री सच दैट देर विल बी बोथ ऑफ दीज एजेस विल बी पार्ट ऑफ द मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ऑफ पार्ट ऑफ द मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री तो किस तरह का मैं ट्री बनाऊं मान लीजिए मेरा ट्री था ये ये मेरा ट्री था बोथ दी एजेस आर पार्ट ऑफ द मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री आई कुड हैव माई एज लेंथ सो दैट दिस वॉज द मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री राइट I could choose my edge length so that this is the minimum spanning tree. So, it is not necessary that only that for any cut there is only one edge which is part of the minimum spanning tree. There could be more than one edges which are part of the minimum spanning tree. But all we are claiming is that the minimum edge in the cut will belong to the minimum spanning tree. So, this edge hai jiski length 2 hai, this will have to be in the minimum spanning tree. If it is not minimum spanning tree, then you can say that this minimum spanning tree is not. क्यों? Why? What's the proof? So the proof is by contradiction. ठीक है? आपने एक spanning tree लिया। आप कह रहे हैं कि you are saying that this is the minimum spanning tree, but that tree does not contain this edge. So let T be a MST, MST is short for minimum spanning tree. So, T is an MST which does not contain edge, is edge ko ek naam de dete hain, E de dete hain is edge ko naam, does not contain edge E. So, what now, what will I do? I will add E to the tree, add 
E to T. What will happen? Cycle. cycle will be formed. Yeah. Why will a cycle be formed? Because these two vertices are already connected. <coughs> these two vertices are already connected in the tree. Yeah. So there is some path going from this vertex to this vertex. Any path that goes from this vertex to this vertex from u to v which connects u and v has to use one of the edges of the cut. You know, think of this as this is a river in between, this is one end, this is the other end. If you have to go from this end to the other, you have to use one of these bridges, no other alternative. So it has to use one of these edges which means that the cycle that gets formed has to use one of these edges at least. But all these edges have length more than 2. So what will I do? Same thing, I will remove this edge from the cycle and add that. This will reduce the length of the tree. So let me write that down. So we will add E to T, let me continue, right. So after you add E to T, so let me addition of E to T forms a cycle, say capital C. C contains at least one edge of the cut, yes or no? at least one edge of the cut. So this implies C contains at least two. Huh? It will contain an odd number of edges of the cut. Okay, uh, added C, at, at least one edge, let me write down other than E, good. E ko abhi hum nahi gin rahe. E to hoga hi hoga cycle mein. E will have to be part of the cycle, right? Because it is because of the addition of E that the cycle got formed. There was no cycle earlier. So e has to be part of the cycle. So C contains at least one edge of the cut other than the edge E. So this implies C contains an edge of length more than the length of E. C contains an edge of length more than the length of E. What? Can their length be greater than E? Ha ha ha, there can be greater than E. I just have to show that there is some edge in the cycle which has length more than E. So that we will not remove 2 from the E from the cycle. Right. No, we created the cycle, right? So we brought in E. Now, how do we want to uh, reduce the cost of the tree by removing some other edge whose length is larger than E? By removing this edge from T union E, we get a smaller tree. Yeah, that is a contradiction because we assumed that <coughs> T was a minimum spanning tree. Nice one, Mara. Ye hamari jo cycle bani, isme ek ye edge E hai, aur koi aur edge hogi cut ki. Ek to hogi hogi. मान लीजिए वो एज F है, F की लेंथ E की लेंथ से ज़्यादा होगी, क्योंकि कट की सारी एजेस की लेंथ E की लेंथ से ज़्यादा है, तो अब हम क्या कर रहे हैं? E को डाल रहे हैं और F को हटा दे रहे हैं। This we have discussed before that from a cycle I can remove any edge and it will remain a spanning tree. We can also remove that. I just have to show you that there is some edge in the cycle which can be removed. To just, I have to just arrive at a contradiction. 
I am just arriving at a contradiction here. This is a mind game. We are not actually removing anything, right? I am just proving a structural property. I am saying in any cut, the minimum edge has to be part of the minimum. The, all of this, the, I do not ever sit down and remove anything. This no algorithm does that, right? This is just a proof, proving this statement. Right? And this proof करने के लिए आप कोई भी हटा सकते हैं उस cycle की जिसकी length e से ज़्यादा हो पर आपको कैसे पता How do you know that one of the edges of the cycle has length more than e? Because we can only argue for the edges of the cut. For them we know for sure that they are all more than e. That's all. Nothing more. Right? Now how are we going to use this claim? Right? That's so, the Prim's algorithm exploits this, this simple fact that if you take any cut, the minimum edge in the cut will be part of the minimum spanning tree, always. Prim's algorithm is an algorithm which essentially is built around this simple fact. Okay? So, let us understand what Prim's algorithm does. Let us say this were my, this were my uh, <coughs> what graph and let us give every edge length. So, I will just arbitrarily put down edge lengths 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, say I missed out 1, 13. Now, how does Prim's algorithm work? So, first we start from some vertex and we call this the root vertex, right? Now, the first partition that I am considering, the first cut I am considering is the root versus everyone else, right? Root on one side and everyone else on the other side. So, which edge has to be part of the cut? One, one. The edge of length 1. So, I will include this into my cut, uh, into my which edge has to be part of the minimum spanning tree, the edge <coughs> of length 1 and I will include it into my tree. Now, what is the cut I am going to consider? This and this. So, I am going to this is going to be one side of the cut, this is going to be one side of the cut and the other side of the cut is going to be all the other vertices. So, which are the edges which are part of the cut? 9, 8, 2, 3, 11. So, which is the smallest? 2. So, we know for a fact that this has to be there in the minimum spanning tree, just include it. Okay. Ab, what is the cut I am going to consider? These three vertices on one side and all the others on the other side. So, let me extend it like that. Yeah. Can everyone see this? This is one side of the cut and all the other vertices are on the other side of the cut. So, now which are the edges in the cut? 9, 8, 7, 5, 13, 11, 3 is not in the cut because both end points of 3 are on the same side. Yeah? So, the smallest of these is 5. So, this gets included. Now, I am going to, you can now understand how I am going to extend it, right? This becomes my one side of the cut and the remaining becomes the other side of the cut, 4 is an edge, right? 3 is kind of gone. So, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, no not 10, 13 and 11, ठीक है? तो 4, 
और अब हमारा एक साइड ये हो जाएगा अब विच आर दिन इन द कट इलेवन थर्टीन टेन सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन सो सिक्स इज द स्मॉलेस्ट इट गेट्स इंक्लूडेड एंड नाउ माई सेट बिकम्स दिस राइट टाइम वी फिनिश बिकॉज इट्स गेटिंग वेरी मेसी या सो विच आर दी एजेस इन द कट नाउ is 8 in the cut no right it looks like it is in the cut but it's not because both its end points are on the same side so it's 9 10 11 13 also 12 of course 9 10 11 12 13 13 so 9 ab 12 is not in the cut anymore So it's only ten, eleven, and thirteen are the options. Ten is the smallest, and with that we are done, right? Because all the vertices are now included. Everyone understands the procedure, right? It's very simple, and the, we have done the proof effectively. Not effectively, we have done the proof, right? Because what did we say? We proved this claim. that the minimum edge across the cut has to be part of the minimum spanning tree and that's the edge we are picking at every point so this is the minimum spanning tree <coughs> okay you'll get the same tree since this is unique i assumed edge lengths are distinct you'll get the same tree even if you were to run kruskal's algorithm yeah everyone follows this so i'm not going to write down the pseudo code for this but you understand how the algorithm works It's very simple so the key idea is that we have so let's try and see how you would implement this algorithm so what is it that you have to maintain so of course you have a data structure for the graph right now what is it what is the operation you have to do at each step add a vertex to a set so at some at any point you have the following this is one side of the cut your root is here let me call this the set s so the set s is going to be the set on one side of the cut as in the vertices that we have already reached so to say from the root so the root is always part of the set s and the remaining vertices s complement or v minus s right so i have to maintain this collection of vertices which are on one side right this can be done very easily by keeping one bit with every vertex if the bit is one then that means let's say it's on the s side if it is zero it's on the s complement side <coughs> yeah that's very simple now what is it that i have to do at each step i have to find out i have to look at all of these edges and to find the minimum how on earth am i going to do this yeah कैसे करेंगे देखो एक तो नई वे इज दैट यू लुक एट ऑल ऑफ दीज वर्ट यू लुक एट देर एडजस्टेंट एजेस राइट फॉर ईच एज यू सी वेदर दी अदर एंड पॉइंट is in s or not if it is not in s then check the length then you look at its length and you look at all these edges and find the minimum so how much does that time take how much time does it take order order you're going to each vertex looking at all its adjacent edges right looking at all its adjacent edges you're going to each vertex in s looking at all its adjacent edges so what is the maximum time it could take order order m at each step and n, and 
एंड यू हैव एन सच स्टेप तो ऑर्डर एम इन टाइम लग जाएगा ठीक है आई एम नॉट इवन राइटिंग इट डाउन बिकॉज इट्स अ वेरी नई वे ऑफ डूइंग So let's do look at something clever. What would be a clever? From the previous step, the maintain, step maintain, a minimum. maintain a minimum. Okay, let's see. This is some idea. So you are saying, I have the set S. I have <coughs> S complement. and there is this vertex v let's call it v why have i singled this vertex out because this is the vertex which is now going to go from right to left theek hai is samay you have figured out the minimum of all of these edges you know the minimum of these edges in the cut right now what is going to happen v let me draw it this way now right some edges are going to go from v to s some edges go from v to s complement there are of course some edges which go from s to s complement yes now right now i know the minimum of these edges yes because v is on this side this picture is the same as knowing the minimum of these edges when i move v from here to here i want to find out the minimum of these edges what will i do compare the so i just suppose i have just kept kept track of the minimum of these nothing else ha minimum which is non unit at the same by minimum right so let's say the minimum was 1 uh, the minimum has to be an edge incident to this one that you understand that's why we picked this one right so this is 1 this is 2 this is 5 this is 6 and this is 7 Right, which is not connected. And then these are eight, nine, three. Let's say. So now the new minimum. Earlier the minimum was one, and now the new minimum is two. Yeah. So if I just know the minimum, it's not going to be useful. Hmm? So you want me to keep track of the second minimum also? which does not go to v but uh, what do i know about v as in uh, v something that i find out right at this step ordered track because suppose the next minimum also goes to v or even if we have a we keep of the second minimum which is not going to v but then if after removing that what edge has been added the, sub, uh, the the third line which is going from there we are not keeping a track of it and all those edges can have the uh, length more than that one and if we don't keep a track of it we have to again compare hmm so <coughs> we know the minimum that is coming to this vertex so suppose we keep track of the minimum to each of the vertices in s complement so when we insert s inside uh, we insert v, v yeah. inside s then we can uh, navigate all the s, uh, edges incident on v uh -huh. and we can keep uh, uh, mark, marks for those which are uh, completely inside s which are edges in the cut and which are inside s complement okay and then we can uh, We'll take degree v time to uh, uh, traverse all the edges which are on v, mm -hmm. and then we can uh, so consequently change them. And then we'll traverse the uh, edges, uh, the set of edges, so that we get uh, how many uh, all those edges which are in the cut. And then we can take the minimum every time. <laughs> okay. So what he's saying is, but how? Do, so what data structure should I use to keep these edges? A heap. 
Okay, so that would be one possibility. I have a heap. Does someone, everyone know what a heap is? <laughs> <laughs> so heap is a data structure which will, in which I can put some elements. Each one of them has a certain priority or a certain key and it will give me, I can use an operation called delete min which will remove the minimum element. I can find out what the minimum element is in the heap in constant time. I can insert elements into the heap. I can also remove elements from the heap. I can do all of these operations, right? And except for find min, all operations take log n time. Find min takes constant time. Constant time. Yeah? Everyone remembers at least this much. Yes? Okay, good. So suppose I were to keep a heap here. A heap which contains these edges 2, 1, 6, 5, 7, right? Then using find min, I can find out what is the minimum edge. That will, once I know the edge, I know the other endpoint of the vertex. Of, I know both the endpoints of the edge. I know which vertex I have to bring in. When I have to bring in this vertex, I look at all the edges incident at this vertex. The edges which are going in S, I have to remove them from this heap and the edges which are going from this vertex to vertices not in S, I have to add them into the heap. Yeah? Sir, removing is not as necessary as for the order because when you are finding the minimum, you can just check and remove at that point. If you remove the minimum and check whether it is completely inside S or it is yeah, but let us keep it clean. Like when we say that our heap is going to contain the edges of the cut, let it contain only the edges of the cut, right? Because you are going to spend the same amount of time in any case. You do not search in a heap. Please remember, heap is a very bad data structure for searching. So, how do you find out where the edge is in the heap? Once again, the same thing, right? When you put some information related to the edge into the heap, you do not just put it and forget it. You keep a track of where the information is, where that particular node is. We do not need to delete, but there is no harm in deleting also. No, you can also delete from a heap. Why can't you not delete from a heap? If we can delete any element, then we can search that element, right? First, we need to search it, then delete. Okay, so there is some confusion here. Let me back up a little bit. Right? So we need to, I, I think I will need to um, show this delete operation to you again. So when we do our other class, we will do the delete operation once again. But take it from me that you can also delete from a heap in the same login time. Okay? Of course, to delete, you need to know where the element is. You are not searching for the element. Right? You know where the element is and then you can delete from the heap in login time. You restructure only from that point. Right. Okay? So that is what we are going to do. When this element comes in, I am going to insert 3, 9 and 8 and I am going to delete 1, 6 and 5 and I know exactly where 1, 6 and 5 are, okay? And this is how I will do the implementation. So at any point, what does the heap contain? Exactly the edges of the cut, exactly those edges and nothing else. Right? It is best to keep it clean so that you know you know what is happening. Right? <clears throat> now, 
how many operations are required on the heap? What kind, how many? So degree of V into log n. Right, so let us look at our heap operations. Let me draw this picture again for you. This is vertex V, it is coming in, it is coming in on this side. So, these edges have to be removed. These edges have to be added. each of each remove and add takes log n time. So, how much time am I spending? Degree times log n for every vertex that I process. So, degree of V times log n, right. And then this has to be summed over all the vertices because I will process each vertex exactly once. ye log n number of elements in the heap which could be m so i should write log m number of elements in the heap which is number of edges in the cut could be as much as the number of edges although it will never be that but it could be as large as that in the worst case yeah <coughs> yeah we are decreasing but you know those are so small that it will not going you know if even if you do a, a careful analysis, you will still get the same order, yeah. So, this is what the total running time would be, right. These are not the only operations. I also have to do one find min. How many times do I have to do find min? Number of vertices times, n times, right. So, wo bhi agar hum add karna chahe, n into order 1, constant time that is a small to order term than this one. What else do we have to do? What are the other operations we might have to do on the heap? Just insert and delete, right and this operation, find min. So, everyone understands what the procedure would be now, right. You start with your initial vertex root and all the edges incident to the root will be your initial heap, will be the elements of the initial heap. Then you will do a find min that will tell you what vertex to include, right, on that side. Then you are going to look at all the vertices adjacent to this vertex, all the edges adjacent to this vertex, decide if you have to remove an edge or to add an edge. Nahi samaj mein aara, baut mysterious lag raha hai. Chaliye, iska fir pseudo code likhte hai. बताइए कैसे लिखेंगे राइट सो लेट्स से आई हैव एन अरे एस एस इज एन अरे एस ऑफ वी इक्वल्स वन इफ वी बिलोंग्स टू एस जीरो अदरवाइज व्हाट इज दिस एस this S is the S side of the cut. Not visited, but reached all those vertices that have been reached. Yeah. So, this is one data structure we are going to have. Then we are going to have a heap, right. And uh, let us see what. So, initially I pick a vertex as the root, and S of that vertex root equals 1. And for all v, s of v equals 0. So, initially everything, this is my initialization, right. Only the root is on, so initially everything is 0 and s of r is set to 1. This is my root vertex. Now, what should I do? I should insert the edges incident at the root into the heap, yes. So, what should I do? For all. for all E incident 
टू आर डू एच लेट्स माई हीप डॉट इंसर्ट ई सम सच थिंग राइट आई टू इंसर्ट द एज इन टू द हीप Yes. So everyone follows what I'm doing, yeah? Good. So ये insert हो गई. अब मुझे क्या करना है? पहले minimum निकालेंगे, फिर loop चलाएंगे. Okay. So कब तक? So कब तक हमें loop चलाना होगा? while not i would say not h dot empty right jab sare usme aa jayenge to aapki jo hai heap empty ho jani chahiye do now what should i do i should find the minimum h h dot find min equals let's say this is equal to What should, what will this return? This will return an edge. edge. F बोल देते हैं इसको. ठीक है? And uh, okay, now uh, what should I do with F now? For all uh, edges that are. नहीं for all नहीं find the. अभी मुझे क्या पता चला है? मुझे बस ये पता चला है. अब मुझे क्या करना है आई हैव टू फाइंड द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ एफ विच इज नॉट इन एस लेट वी बी द एंड पॉइंट ऑफ एफ सच दैट एस ऑफ वी इक्वल्स जीरो ये आप कर लेंगे आप दोनों एंड पॉइंट को देखेंगे देखेंगे कौन सा जीरो है कि नहीं वो आप इस स्टेटमेंट में होगा अब क्या करना है मुझे इसका For all e e adjacent to v do what do I do? If the other end point is not visited, that is not equal to one. So for all e equals v comma w कर देते हैं इसको आसानी रहेगी है ना? If S W equals zero, तो वो कब होगा? ये W है आपका, ये V है, ठीक है? अगर ये zero है, तो इस edge को हमें heap में insert करना है, then H dot insert E, not W, heap में हमारे edges हैं, vertices नहीं हैं. ठीक है? Else h dot ठीक है? इसके बाद करते हैं। यहाँ कर देते हैं कोई बात और कुछ basically ये जो हमने f है जो edges हमें मिली हैं इनको हमें रखना पड़ेगा क्योंकि this is the spanning tree the minimum spanning tree right सब कुछ कर दिया आपने minimum spanning tree ने print किया तो फायदा नहीं ना हाँ तो जो भी आप you will just print out these edges or whatever it is ठीक है, this entire thing is part of this for loop. Clear to everyone? कोई घबराने वाली बात नहीं थी ना? हो गया? चलिए good. ठीक है?
ठीक है एंड एज यू कैन सी ऑल दी एफर्ट इज बींग स्पेंट इन दिस स्टेप और नॉट टू मच एक्चुअली इन दिस स्टेप राइट How many times is this loop going to be executed? M times. M times? How many times is this loop, the while loop, going to be executed? N minus one or n times? N minus one times. Why? Because every time I execute this loop, one vertex comes into the set S. N vertices are. ऐसे तो ऐनी कोई vertex निकलती है ऐसे. Right? So this is getting executed n minus one times. So this statement is executed n minus one times. But this is again just a constant time operation, so this is not too much time. ये तो छोटा सा है, ये भी constant time है. It is this where the most of most of the work is getting done. So for every, you are looking at all the vertices adjacent to the vertex V. Degree. Degree. And for each one of those vertices or edges, you are spending doing either an insert or a delete. Log m. Right, so degree times log n. We've seen that before. Summed over all vertices will be m log n. Yes. There is a modification to this scheme that can also be done. In this modification, what you do is you have your set S. You have your set S complement. Right. Each vertex in S complement has a number on it. Each vertex in S complement has a number on it. What is this number going to be? Yeah. Let's look at all the edges going from this vertex to S. Suppose these were the three edges going from this vertex V to S. Suppose these edge lengths were three, four, and seven. Then this vertex is going to have a number of three written on it. Okay. Okay. And what are we going to do with these numbers? We are going to create a heap. Now my heap is a heap of Vertices and not of edges. So this heap heap has one element for each vertex in S complement. हर एक vertex के लिए एक यहाँ पे हमने element डाल रखा है और उस element की priority क्या होगी? इसके करस्पॉन्डिंग जो होगा थ्री होगी ठीक है यस नो व्हाट विल बी द मिनिमम एलिमेंट इन द हीप इट विल बी द वर्टेक्स व्हिच हैज द मिनिमम एज इंसिडेंट एट इट अमंगस्ट ऑल द एजेस इन द कट सो इट विल बी द वर्टेक्स व्हिच हैज टू गो अक्रॉस ठीक है आ रहा है समझ में नहीं? So if I find the vertex, the the vertex which is sitting here at the top, the vertex with the minimum value, minimum label, let's call these labels. The vertex with the minimum label, let's say it's this vertex, is pe label one tha, right? So that means that the minimum edge going across this cut is one. We are not keeping track of edges which are here, within here. We are, this, this vertex will only contain a label which is equal to the minimum of the edges which are going across the cut. If there is a vertex which has no edge going across the cut, incident at it, is pe koi edge yahan se yahan nahi ja rahi hai. To iska label hum maan lije infinite rakh dete. Thik hai? So the minimum will tell me which is the minimum edge going across, and that's the vertex that I have to move across. And when I have to move across a vertex, what do I do? How do I update information? Very simple. This is the vertex V. अब ये vertex जब उधर जाएगा, 
तो इस वर्टेक्स से जो एजेस यहां जा रही होंगी किंग को चेंज करना पड़ेगा केवल इन वर्टेक्स के लेबल्स को चेंज करना पड़ेगा All those in S bar which are adjacent to this vertex. मान लीजिए इस एज की लेंथ टू है इसकी सिक्स है और इसकी एट है और इस पे लेबल फोर है अभी इस पे फाइव है और इस पे सेवन है तो इसका नया लेबल क्या होगा इस पे फोर है लेबल इसका क्या मतलब हुआ द मिनिमम एज दट इज कमिंग टू दिस वर्टेक्स सो फार is 4 but now this edge is also coming to this vertex because this vertex is going on that side so iska label 4 se ghatke 2 ho jayega iska label iske upar ek edge of length 5 aa rahi hai from here ye wali edge ek nayi edge aa rahi hai ab iske upar par iski length to zyada hai to ye iska yahi rahega iske upar ab 7 aa rahi hai ab ek jo aa rahi hai wo 8 hai तो इसका भी वही रहेगा तो केवल इसका घटेगा सबके समझ में आ रहा है ये? ठीक है सो दैट्स द ओनली थिंग वी हैव टू डू नाउ। सो व्हाट इज द ऑपरेशन वी हैव टू डू ऑन द हीप नाउ अपडेट व्हाट? अपडेट अपडेट और decrease we will only decrease the label decrease priority decrease priority is the operation we have to do right ha decrease priority ke baad jo bhi heap apne aap modify hogi wo hogi aur koi operation nahi karna hai hame right no insert no delete find min of course and decrease priority ये सबके समझ में आ रहा है या ओके सिंस आई हैव फोर और फाइव मिनट्स लेट मी राइट डाउन द कोड फॉर इवन दिस वन ठीक है आज आपको खुश कर देते हैं सब चीजों का कोड लिख के दिखा देते हैं आपको ठीक so um, once again i'll as in the previous case i'll have my array s yeah and i'll do the same initialization for all vertex v s v is initially 0 and s of r is 1 okay now remember the heap is going to contain vertices in s complement heap is going to contain vertices in s complement what should i put initially in my heap everything everything except r okay so for all v sv equals 0 and let's say i do h dot insert v comma kis priority ke sath insert karu main isko एक्चुअली हमें पहले भी प्रायोरिटी डिसाइड करनी चाहिए थी एजिस के केस में पर वहां पे तो क्लियर था एज की प्रायोरिटी जस्ट इट्स लेंथ यहाँ पे वर्टेक्स की प्रायोरिटी क्या होगी डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम आर व्हाट डज दैट मीन व्हाट डज दैट मीन लेंथ ऑफ द एज फ्रॉम आर इन्फिनिटी कर देते हैं सबको उठा के ठीक है और एस आर के लिए हम क्या करेंगे हमने तो सारे वर्टिस को पहले इन्फिनिट कर दिया ओके एच डॉट इंसर्ट हाँ तो ऐसे कर देते हैं So, इसको कर देते हैं एच डॉट डिक्रीज प्रायोरिटी कर देते हैं आर कॉमा जीरो कर देते हैं ठीक है पहले हमने सबको डाल दिया केवल हमने आर की प्रायोरिटी को जीरो कर दिया अब हम क्या करेंगे निकालना 
no 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 everything is infinite only r is zero ha abhi nikalte hain dariye mat so while h is not empty we'll do something what will we do we'll take the minimum let's say that's a vertex v right i'll take the vertex so ab ye ye kya hoga ye shuru mein jab aayega to ye kaun sa vertex milega mujhe root kyunki uski maine priority zero dali thi ab main wo kaam karunga ki uski adjacent edges ko dekhunga to ab wo karte hain to ab hame minimum vertex v mila hai अब हम क्या करेंगे इसकी सारी एडजस्टेंट वर्टिसेस को देखेंगे फॉर ऑल डब्लू एडजस्टेंट टू वी डू इफ डब्लू इज एडजस्टेंट टू वी व्हाट शुड आई डू इफ एस डब्लू इक्वल्स जीरो what does that mean w is on the s complement side then what should i do then i have to update its update its priority right then if what should be the new what is the option here if If yeah, so we will need a label array somewhere. If label of W, so मान लीजिए एक हमारी label array भी है, right? Which is keeping track of our labels. So if label W, so इसका label is is greater than length of v comma W. then then that means that this edge now so what is what is this saying iske upar abhi jo label tha maan lijiye iske upar label 10 tha aur ye edge ki length 6 hai is edge ki length is less than that label that's what is being said then iska label ab 6 ho jana chahiye then label w equals 6 sorry <laughs> equals length v w and h dot decrease priority w comma label w theek hai ye yahan khatam hua ye yahan khatam hua aur kuch nahi karna hai एस ऑफ वी को वन कर देते हैं चलिए पहले भी वन कर दिया था चलिए यहां नहीं करते खुश रहिए ठीक है सो दिस वॉज एन ऑल्टरनेट वे ऑफ डूइंग इट इज सेम रनिंग टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी यू विल चेक दैट योर सेल्फ वाइज दैट बिकॉज वंस अगेन वी आर लुकिंग एट डिग्री we are spending degree time for each vertex and degree times log n because decrease priority also takes log n time right some over all vertices will become m log n and that's basically where most of the work is getting done okay so with that i'm going to end today's lecture so we looked at prim's algorithm for computing minimum spanning trees and we saw two ways of implementing it <laughs>